During a speech given to the Rotary Club weeks ago, Congresswoman Madeleine Bredalio promised that the Department of Defense would be giving GovGuam $50 million for port upgrades. These upgrades are necessary for the military buildup to occur, which is why, according to Bredalio, the military was willing to foot the bill. Today, it turns out that GovGuam is a step closer to getting that $50 million. Guam Buildup Office Director Paul Shintako. The appropriation, Senate Appropriations uh, Committee has uh, included Guam's $50 million in, in the supplemental for FY10 for the National Defense Authorization. Uh, we're consulting with the uh, Congresswoman's Office to see what, what are the next steps. In fact, according to a release from the U.S. Senate Committee on Appropriations, $50 million will go towards Department of Defense to transfer to the Port of Guam Improvement Enterprise Fund, which is in the Department of Transportation. This money will go towards the improvement of facilities. Shintako says they will need the $50 million as soon as possible. The trick to this is we need to get that $50 million uh, by the end of September. Otherwise, the other $50 million, uh, according to USDA, because it's ERA funds, uh, goes away at the end of the fiscal year. The work towards getting money for the military buildup isn't over. Shintako says they are still working hard to find funding for Guam's infrastructure. Still a lot of work has to be done on, on the road projects, uh, primarily also securing funding for, for the haul roads that the military intends to use, which is all depicted in the draft EIS. As for the final EIS, Shintako says his sources have told him that it may be out in late July or early August. Then there is a 30-day comment period, which means the record of decision may not be issued until early September or just before the next fiscal year. Clint Rogel, PNC News.